What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at repairing the IBM 5140. As previously stated in the last video on this particular device, it has been producing quite a stench. Um, something similar to kind of a rotting fish, just a very foul odor coming from it every time it's powered on. Now, um, thanks to one of my viewers, they pointed out that this is most likely a problem with an electrolytic capacitor on the device itself, and I think I have narrowed it down to the power supply board, and particularly this group of capacitors here. So, today we're going to be looking at replacing uh, mainly these smaller ones, because I think that's where the issue lies. I think I can see a little bit of leakage at the bottom of those, um, and none of the other capacitors on here appear to be leaking or... Um, be having any sort of issue like that. So we're going to try starting with those first to see if that makes any difference. Now, unfortunately I don't have a lot of really high quality capacitors to hand, so I've just got this assorted kit of them. These have worked fine for me in the past. This will be a temporary fix. I just want to see if this uh, remedies the issue for now. If it does, then I'll take these out and replace them with some better ones. Um, so it looks like the one I can see in there is a 50 volt capacitor, so I do have some 50 volt ones here. They only go up to 4.7, so hopefully that's uh, hopefully that's big enough, so we shall see. Um, so yeah, let's get those out of there. I have my uh, trusty Heiko desoldering station here handy to, uh, to use, so <clears throat> try to not squish the board if I can. So yeah, we'll be using this to uh, remove it. These are just an absolutely fantastic tool. Um, I normally wouldn't, uh, I would normally be using one of the little hand pump uh, desoldering type things, but um, ever since I had to remove all of the keys, uh, mechanical key switches from a keyboard and replace them once, because I wanted to uh, change them out for a custom type uh, switch, I invested in one of these, and I'll tell you, that would have not have been a feasible job without one of these. So, yeah, this, this thing is absolutely wonderful to have. Now, when it comes to working on older boards like this, if I'm removing a component, I like to reflow a bit of fresh solder onto that joint just to help things uh, conduct a little bit better. Um, plus, it mixes with whatever this junk is and uh, just helps it melt a little bit more evenly. So I believe these two pins here are the ones that we're going to have to remove. So I'm going to get in here and flow a little bit of solder on here, being careful not to burn my plastic table. Now I'm soldering with a desoldering gun, so that's uh, not normally what you would do, but it works. So.
Alrighty guys, she has booted and it is working. We have no noticeable smell coming off of this, so surgery was a success. Um, if you guys like this kind of content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. All that stuff is fantastic. I love hearing from you guys. I love hearing suggestions. Um, I know the capacitors I used in here weren't exactly the best quality, and I will be replacing them sometime in the future. Um, however, this is enough to get it up and running and at least test and make sure that was the problem. After taking them off, it was fairly obvious that was the problem. But, alright guys, I will see you in the next video.